Today, uh, I want to show you how we can take a very big Word file and make it a lot smaller without actually impacting the quality of the Word file. So, as you can see in this Word file, there uh, it's quite high quality and it's a very nice file as well. So, uh, we of course want to support these kind of files, but it doesn't make too much sense to really work with a, a, a three and a half megabyte Word file, as you can see here. Uh, because yeah, it will just slow things down, make all of the documents bigger, uh, really challenge the Salesforce limits, and yeah, it's uh, gonna challenge your storage. Uh, people will receive bigger documents in their email boxes, so we really focus on optimizing these kind of documents, and we have the tools and the ways to do it, of course. So let me show you something how to handle these kind of things. First of all, it's important to know that actually every docx file is a zip file. So we can use any zip tool, and I uh, prefer to use uh, 7-zip, uh, but we can use any zip tool to actually unzip it. So if I unzip this to a new folder, okay, I cannot do that because it's still open, of course. I first have to close the document. Now I'm going to unzip it again. <clears throat> it will actually, as you can see here, create the folder. So when I'm creating the folder, you will see a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of uh, directories that are not really uh, of use, they're just really the uh, very complex structure of a Word document. Um, but the important one is normally the media. So under Word, the folder Word, we have a folder called Media. And here you can see all of the pictures that are actually there. I'm going to change the view. So you can see uh, that the pictures that are here are, yeah, some of them are quite big. Like this one is 1.4 megabytes. Uh, this one is even uh, 25 megabytes. So these are the pictures we are definitely going to focus on. Next to that, I just want to uh, see uh, and say, okay, there are 15 pictures here. And I'm going to validate that with a document as well. So what Word does from time to time is actually it doesn't remove your picture. So you can say and go into the Word document and you can say, well, I want to delete a certain picture but uh, behind the scenes, it will actually not delete that picture. Um, let me open the document here. We see here that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pictures. And in the folder here uh, that I've just shown you, we already saw that we had 15 pictures. So uh, we now make a small uh, time, take a small time to uh, actually look and see what picture is actually not being used. So uh, 15 items, we see, uh, we can't see the preview of the EMF file. So I'm just quickly gonna open them in uh, the preferred tool. So we see this file. Uh, this file is actually in the document, so that's good. We're going to keep that one. Um, which other one is there? Oh, sorry. Just uh, switching between screens here. Um, I think this one is also there. Yeah, so this is uh, actually in the document. It's actually uh, this file, so uh, that looks good. We definitely want that. And uh, let's take another one. Uh, okay, this one is there. This one is there. I think one of these is might might be not might not be there. Let's take a look. Um, no, they are both there. So that's good. This one is there. Then we saw that one. The box was there. This one is there. This one is there. This one is there. This one. Yeah, it's there. This one. We have it. Um, this one we've seen. Then the toothpaste box, it's there. So I must have counted wrongly, but definitely we did the check. Now we all know we are uh, we we have all of the pictures we actually want. Cool. We have some EMF pictures. Uh, these pictures are huge, yeah, as you saw earlier, and these are the ones we have to tackle first. So uh, I don't like uh, TIFF pictures in a document. I don't like EMF pictures in a document. I even think if you upload these kind of files, our video scanner will say, well, I'm not too keen on having these files in there. So um, 
let's definitely change them. Uh, you might say, where does these files come from? Uh, these are very old uh, formats on the Windows platform when you were taking screenshots. So I assume that somebody just took a screenshot of his screen and used that one directly into the document before saving it as a PNG, for instance. Uh, PNG and JPEX, I think these are the most common formats. And I think these are the formats you should also uh, focus on. So a T an EMF, I have no idea how to uh, change that into, an, uh, into a Word document. So, uh, sorry, into a uh, PNG. So what I'm gonna do is take a look at the picture yeah, I know now how it looks. It's this one, and uh, that's over here. It's actually this picture. So what I'm going to do is right-click, Save as Picture. I'm going to go to Downloads and then to Dar Demo. I'm going to uh, say this is actually, um, yeah, let's call it uh, Image One yeah, uh, .png. I'm going to save this one. Okay, let's take a look at the file I just created. You can see that it's now only uh, like 56 kilobytes and before it was like uh, uh, 25 megabytes. So what I'm gonna do, right click this file again, change picture from a file, go to my, uh, and select my file. So now it's changed, that one is already fixed. So uh, up to the next, uh, um, image that was an, an EMG, an EMF, sorry. So let's take a look. Uh, this one is fixed. Now we are focusing on this one. That's the box. And, uh, okay, that's this one over here. And same thing, uh, save as picture. Gonna go to my folder again. I'm gonna call it image two. Okay, let's save it. And change picture from a file and I'm gonna select image two. Okay, you can see that it uh, changed it a little bit. So uh, might need to update the file a little bit to make it uh, look nice. So that's the two EMF pictures. Uh, there was a uh, TIFF as well. So let's take a look at this one. Uh, this is how the TIFF looks. So that is which picture over here? I guess it's the uh, it's this one. Okay, same thing. Save as picture. I'm gonna say I want to save it as a PNG and go to downloads. Okay, and I'm gonna call this image three dot PNG. Okay, right click on this one. Uh, change picture from a file. Select image three. Okay, all good. So uh, that one is done as well. Um, so we did the, the TIFF image, we did the two EMF images. I think uh, that's quite it. Um, just gonna see now what we can do. Um, um, okay, so that's uh, the stuff that we did over here. So that's fine. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete my unpacked uh, uh, folder here. Shift delete. Yes. Okay. There is uh, something that blocking. I still have an image open. So try again. Okay. Still have another image open. Okay. Now all the folders are closed. Okay. Um, I'm going to save my Word document. So now everything should be saved. Everything should be already better. Uh, if I look now at the uh, the details my word document is already went from three and a half megabytes to one and a half megabytes in just a couple of minutes now i'm going to unpack it again because there are uh, more improvements that we can do of course so uh, unpack it as a zip file oh no sorry that was the wrong one okay and then i'm going to unpack it to this folder and i'm going to open the folder go to the word go to the media and let's take a look here and see what else we can improve. So we see that uh, this first image, it's actually uh, the, uh, the dimensions, uh, the, uh, the width and the height, uh, sorry, the height and the width, they are quite, uh, 
quite huge. So there is no need to put this kind of large pictures in the document uh, because you are showing them much smaller. Uh, this is uh, quite a big picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this picture. And uh, in, this is normal paint. So this is uh, everybody, every PC has that. Click the resize button and say I'm going to go for 50% of the original size. Okay, so this is now smaller. Eh? Uh, it's now only at 50%. Save the image and go for the next one. So um, now I'm going to go this one as well at 50%. So let's take a look. Um, resize and I'm going to say, let's say 60% of the image I want to keep. <clears throat> so this is fine. Let's not change this one. Uh, this one also looks fine. So I'm just going to look at the ones that are really, really big. But uh, these all look pretty good. So uh, not too big. And now, okay. We still see that the sizes of these, some of these images are quite uh, large. Huh? 200 kilobytes, 300 kilobytes. So let's take a look and use my favorite tool. That's called uh, TinyPNG and actually optimize these pictures without losing uh, any quality. So I'm just going to select all of the pictures, drag them, po uh, put them here, and you see that it just gets to work immediately and starts uh, compressing these, uh, these pictures. Look at these size files, uh, these savings we do in, in size of pictures. Uh, uh, almost every picture in average is, uh, is about 670% that, uh, that we gain in, uh, in size. So if we take 15 pictures uh, on this size, that's quite a gain. Now, uh, we're not going to download them one by one. I'm just going to say download all. Okay, I'm going to take this uh, uh, zip, put it in the same folder and unpack it here. So now extract. Here, it will ask, of course, to uh, overwrite all of the files. Yes, I want to overwrite all of the files. So now all of the smaller files, uh, optimized files, compressed files are there. Delete my, uh, my zip. That's not required anymore. Okay, so everything is now optimized. I'm going to repack this unpacked uh, Word document and put it into a new, uh, 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 make a new Word document out of it. So I'm going to go to the root of the folder where I unpacked my, uh, my docx file earlier. I'm going to select all of the files over here. Yeah. And then I'm going to just say uh, uh, zip this. Put this, all of these files into a zip. Cool. OK. Now I'm going to rename the zip to a docx. Yes, I want to rename it. Now, if I open the file, you will see everything looks absolutely great. This is exactly the kind of document that I would expect. Yeah, so I'm just going to make one space here, remove the space again, save the file, and let's take a look. Now a file of 300, uh, sorry, three and a half megabytes is now only uh, um, 474 kilobytes. So uh, 10 minutes of work and uh, a huge change in the uh, in the file size and in the quality of the uh, of the generation for the documents okay that's it